because I wanted to get Dr. Joel Wallach back on because of popular demand to have him take at least a half hour of phone calls for questions from people uh, because so many times we get him on and then we say we're going to take calls and then 100 calls come in and we can't go to two or three. So I wanted to get him back up today and start having him on at least once a month because uh, the listeners really responded in a positive way. And if I'm enjoying something and finding it informative and my audience really loves it, well, then you're going to hear more of it uh, here on the broadcast. But I wanted myself to bring up some other issues with Dr. Wallach uh, first. Uh, and that's for my research, the diet that Americans ate, we would see today as even more unhealthy than the diet we have on the surface. More fat, more red meat, more chicken fried steak, more fried chicken, pie at lunch, pie at dinner, but people were skinny, they were healthier, like the French. The French have which, what they would call an extremely unhealthy diet, but there's no preservatives. They smoke cigarettes like trains, uh, they drink like fish, and they live on average, I was looking, about eight years longer. Uh, same thing with the Japanese. They eat a lot of stuff you'd call unhealthy, but, but nothing like the French. What happened to Americans? Because when I see these articles in the media, it's always, let's reduce salt, or let's reduce just fat, period, or, or let's reduce just basic sugar. And I'm not saying sugar straight up is good for you. It obviously isn't overall. There's no discussion of aspartame, of MSG. There's no discussion uh, of GMO that in all the studies, you just type in GMO causes organ failure and sterility in lab rats. And it's, it's just hundreds and hundreds of articles with hundreds and hundreds of studies, thousands total. Literally, it's in the thousands in the last 50 years. Uh, that's why they wouldn't approve it till the 70s and 80s. And now it's, it's basically in everything. I mean, it's hard to get away from. And it, it, it has its own pesticide grown in it that kills the bugs. But they say it's safe for you, many varieties. This is some scary stuff. The honeybees are dying. Farm animals are having weird health problems when they eat GMO. I've talked to the vets about that, and they're getting away from it. A lot of the animal feeds are trying to get away from it because there's all sorts of craziness going on. All sorts of craziness taking place here. And meanwhile, here's this headline. Chefs call proposed New York salt ban absurd. Well, Bloomberg doesn't care. He says he's going to go ahead with it. And if they catch you with salt, it's like $1,000 fines, jail the next time. And no discussion of getting clean water. No discussion. I mean, they tell Alzheimer's patients, don't get essential fatty acids. They tell people, uh, you know, don't get minerals. When there's literally, you know, they have scurvy. I see old people everywhere, and they have scurvy. I mean, their skin's breaking down. Their old scars are opening up. That's scurvy. So I saw an article uh, in the Associated Press uh, just a few days ago. Reuters, it's all over the news where they were saying, we need to give healthy people statins. We need lithium in the water because people are upset. They say people want to commit suicide or they're depressed. Uh, or if you, if you have a car wreck, they want to put you on it. And then it admits that it causes suicide and psychotic behavior in the insert. So they know what they're doing. It. Uh, they know exactly why they're doing it. NHS, that's in England, should consider giving statins to healthy people. They're talking about giving three-year-olds and up in the U.S. statins, putting it in the water supply. This is being done by design. This is eugenics. So I wanted the first 15, 20 minutes with Dr. Wallach before we open the phones up to get him on with us and, and bring this up because I have some, some new news on the health front as well. Exactly what Wallach's been saying for decades, saturated fats make people dumber. That's the Atlantic. But they just say meat, period. No, it's burnt meat. Here's another one out of Mercola. Hardens your arteries. Odds are 6 to 10. You're consuming this poison ingredient daily. It's actually 7 and 10 for my research. 70% of the country has fluoride. It's fluoride. All the big studies out on that. Hardening the arteries, increasing uh, uh, problems in the joints. Uh, continuing here. FDA accused of mass homicide of 1 million Americans each year. It breaks down all the numbers. Incredible. We're going to be going over that. Drinking high fructose corn syrup really does make you stupid. Another big study out we're going to be going over. Uh, that's Yahoo, Science Daily, and Natural News reporting that. So that's just some of this. We're under a chemical, biological holocaust. 
Now, Dr. Joel Wallach uh, joins us today via video Skype, if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv on the radio, hearing the superior audio quality of Skype. It's revolutionizing radio that's getting so good, the audio quality of the guests now, it's like they're in studio. Dr. Joel Wallach has published numerous books, bestsellers on dietary deficiencies and their result uh, and uh, effects and the fact that it causes a lot of the disease out there. He conducts 300 lectures, uh, lectures annually. And, of course, he's the host of Dead Doctors Don't um, Lie. He has worked for 30 years in veterinary uh, pathologist at several institutions, universities. And uh, it just goes on from there. And he's got uh, other uh, degrees as well. He taught nutrition at the National College of Naturopathic Medicine in Oregon, became a primary care physician with naturopathic degree. And it just goes on from that point. And dead doctors don't lie. Doctors have one of the lowest life expectancies out there. I think only worse is uh, uh, gays and gangbangers. That's just a fact. But uh, dead doctors don't lie. He, he joins us now. So you heard me give that preface, Doc, of what's happening. There, uh, I see the system, while they kill us by design, you know, make us sick and then sell us treatments that don't actually cure us. They, you know, they, they treat the cause of... Uh, what they've already done. They always look for the cure and not the cause of breast cancer being up two to three thousand percentage points and every other neurological disorder, diabetes, type two, you name it, neurological disorders in young people skyrocketing. Now they're scapegoating salt and fat, period. What's happening here with this new nanny state saying we're going to force prescription drugs on you and we're going to tell you what you can eat? Dr. Wallach. Yes, well, thank you so much, Alex. Uh, first of all, I want to applaud you for being uh, so up on this uh, information and getting it out to the general public. We are in a war. There's no doubt about it. And you are the point of the spear. You are the Marines for protecting Americans, and I love you for it. And uh, just to kind of reiterate some of the things you've said, they're definitely trying to get statin drugs into uh, kids. This is, uh, came out just uh, two years ago, the American Academy of Pediatrics said this is the strongest um, pro pronouncement they've ever made was to get kids under eight years old on statin drugs to prevent heart disease. Well, heart disease is not caused by elevated blood cholesterol or triglycerides. And um, I said that in 1971. It's actually published in an international uh, paper uh, published out of Denmark uh, in Acta Pathologica in both Danish and English, and I said at that time, after 20,000 autopsies, elevated blood cholesterol and glycerides have nothing to do with stroke, heart disease, clogged arteries. It's actually the inflammation from eating fried foods, processed meats, and uh, using oils as salad dressings and so forth. And again, you point out very well, uh, even yet today, Alex, the top 20 longevity cultures on earth still smoke. They do things that would be considered to be bad, but... They are able to get through that, and they're the longest-lived cultures on Earth. Uh, number one, they're all illiterate. They have no doctors, no clinics, no hospitals, yet they have 40 times 100-year-olds we do. That's because they do the basic things our ancestors did. Your grandparents and my grandparents used to put wood ashes from the home fires, either the fireplace or the wood stove, into the garden. The beans and tomatoes and sweet potatoes and squash would suck up these minerals. You would eat them, and you'd, and you'd nourish your body in that fashion. Well, when we went to electricity and propane and natural gas, there's no wood ashes left over to put in our food or in our gardens. And it's this lack of supplementation that we used to do for thousands of years that's causing us the problems. And we've done it for dogs. We've tripled the lifespan of dogs the last 60 years, from 8 years old, 6 years ago, to 25 today. We've eliminated 900 different diseases. And if you're a homeless person eating dog food, you're going to outlive doctors and billionaires. It's just crazy. But that's the truth because we put all the known nutrients in dog food and um, uh, it, it, we've come up with a system with Longevity and the 90 for Life program where we duplicate all the knowledge that was learned for our dogs and cats and chickens and, and fish and, and cattle and sheep and pigs and horses and we put it into this program 90 for Life and it's been working. Because and agriculture demands results and so that lobby hasn't let... Uh 
the big medical lobby come in and ruin it because people want results there and all the information is at InfoWarsTeam.com. Since we're getting into that now, people want to get the Tangy Tangerine Pollen Burst and get it discounted. You can sign up and get uh, discounts there or get free shipping at InfoWarsTeam.com. But I want to understand, why are they doing this? I mean, sure, there's eugenics and part of the overall plan, but I even see, like you said, the doctors are following their own advice and dying at very young ages. Absolutely. The average lifespan of a medical doctor, according to their own surveys, as of 1999, is 56. Billionaires who follow the doctor's instructions, who should have the highest rate of 100-year-olds to be the healthiest, as of March of 2011, is 66. And then, of course, you have somebody like uh, Steve Jobs, who died at 56 following the doctor's instructions. Uh, he should have gone to the Nicoyan Peninsula in Costa Rica, where the oldest people on Earth live, and do what Grandma said he'd still be alive today but he chose to go with the doctors and they killed him well uh, the problem here is the medical system has learned how to use the insurance programs as an ATM machine whereas in in the agricultural industry Alex as you pointed out you, you're very you're very quick you figured this out right away in that in the agricultural industry we don't have health insurance and so the veterinarians in the agricultural industry just had to solve the problems because if you have a pig that needs uh, you know, they got bone to bone arthritis, and the doctor would say, Oh, you need a, a double knee transplant. He's bacon tomorrow. In humans, we have insurance, and so doctors have learned how to milk that insurance. There was actually a Senate committee came out a couple of years ago and said that the medical system is gaming Medicare and Medicaid. Stay there. And Absolutely. And then the doctors that aren't doing it, they're getting the short end of the stick. We'll be back with Dr. Wallach. Of all the people that have come to me over the years and offered you know for me to endorse their their product and i've seen the proof with longevity and that's why i endorse it and that's why we have infowarsteam.com with the products discounted uh, you can go there and buy the products or you can sign up and be a distributor and we have a whole phone team you can call and they can train you on how to be a distributor as well but i, I didn't get dr wallach on predominantly about that today i'm coming up in the next segment i'm gonna open the phones up for your questions for dr wallach uh, this stuff is real. I mean, you've seen Aaron Dykes lose 92 pounds now, and now he's trying to, you know, stop uh, and uh, actually just build some muscle, and that's actually working. But 90 plus pounds. I've lost about 40, and because I work out not as much as I was even before, I'm working out less and just staying at the same spot now because I'm so busy. I didn't get home last night till midnight. I worked late. But the point is that look at Dr. Wallach if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv. He's about to turn 73, and I've seen videos of him on stage just in the last month where it looks like he's about 60. Uh, just amazing, amazing to see what this is doing. So I briefly wanted you, Doc, to get into those cultures because I know that there are a lot of ancient cultures that live even longer. If they live past the natal point, you know, they, they manipulate numbers because in a lot of primitive cultures, yes, 30, 40 percent of babies by the age of two or three do tend to die because of complications. But if you get past that point, I've really looked at the uh, at the uh, numbers on population in even third world areas. And there's people all over the place living to 80, 90, 100. Um, I mean, my great grandmother lived to be 103. Uh, I had a bunch of ancestors, if we go back in the records, who were routinely living to 100 men. And this was on the frontier. So if you made it past three years old on what the frontier people were eating, how were they living so long? Uh, again, this is one of their big secrets that, that you've really exposed. What are the ancient cultures, but also what are the French doing? Smoking two packs of cigarettes, drinking like fish, living a lot longer than we do. What are they doing? Well, again, uh, you've hit the nail on the head, uh, Alex. Uh, the top 20 longevity cultures, my wife and I put it in our newest book uh, called Immortality, and they can get it through InfoWarsTeam.com, InfoWarsTeam.com. And uh, we looked at the top 20 longevity cultures to try and find their common threads, and we found 25 common threads amongst them, and you're exactly right. They do drink alcohol, they do smoke, and they have 40 times 100-year-olds we do. They don't have doctors, they don't have insurance, they don't have hospitals. They have 40 times 100-year-olds we do, Alex. They have 100-year-old for 250 of their population. 100-year-old for 10,000. They have 40 times 100. They live to be 90 on the average in a healthful way. We live to be 75 in a sickly way. Is because of dumb luck, 
actual analyses of the soil by the agricultural departments in their countries, they live in a place that have these 90 essential nutrients in their food. There's 60 minerals in the soil. Their plants take it up. The wood they burn has these 60 minerals in it. They put these wood ashes, the minerals, into their gardens. The plants suck it up. And they recycle these 60 minerals over and over and over. We get NPK fertilizer. So we get two minerals. The plants are happy, but we need 60. So if you're eating a pretty good slice of multi-grain bread baked with love in the church by the pastor's wife on Sunday, you're 58 mineral short. And, and this is our problem. Uh, and doctors, of course, have told everybody, oh, don't worry about supplementation. Just eat well. You get everything you need, or eat variety. Put four different colors on your food plate, and that's all the big lie to get you into the position. And where it's you're so simple. The old-fashioned, you know, like in Germany or anywhere, where you put all the animal and human waste in big honey pots, let it ferment for a year till all, all the bacteria had eaten through it and died. Now it's pure minerals and, and, and vitamins and you name it. You put that on the crop. It's a totally different food than the chemical fertilizer that has all sorts of heavy metals in it on top of it that they're dumping and that we're then eating. And then they spray the crops with sodium fluoride, which then bioaccumulates even worse. It's a toxic brew. Well, you're exactly right. And, of course... Uh, we have to be smarter than that, and again, that's why I applaud you for getting this information in front of the American people. Um, again, it's to the government's advantage uh, to keep the doctors happy because they put more money into the PAC committees than any other group, and it's this uh, little love thing between the doctors and the, the government. And so we have to save ourselves, and this is what my wife and I have done with the uh, books, uh, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy, to teach people how to deal with over 900 different diseases using just vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths and amino acids and fatty acids and herbs, just like we use in animals. And it works in people, Alex, just like it does in animals. Uh, there's no reason why we should be treating our dogs better than we treat our kids. It's just amazing to me that people put up with that. Uh, when you look at it, we, we kill so many people in hospitals. Nobody would go on an airliner if airlines were to kill that many people. Oh, new numbers just came out on that. I want to come back and show viewers the graphic, read it to listeners. The FDA admits they're killing at least 100,000 a year. Dr. Joel Wallach is on a quest. There is no doubt. He knows the truth of what he's discovered. Something hiding in plain view in veterinary science. He's a veterinarian amongst other doctorates. And uh, he's done major studies for the federal government, uh, conducted tens of thousands of autopsies with huge programs underneath him uh, to confirm these findings. All these degenerative diseases, neurological, you name it, are increasing. And they spin it and say, well, it's genetic. Well, yeah, you can be predisposed to something, but when you're missing the minerals and the vitamins and the trace elements all working together in concert, you're starving to death. And... I see old people everywhere who have the big sores, their skin rotting, they touch a door, their skin rips open. And I talk to people like Ted Anderson's dad. Ted's told this story. Six months on Beyond Tangy Tangerine and Essential Fatty Acids, the proprietary blends at InfoWarsTeam.com that Longevity has developed. When you purchase them at InfoWarsTeam.com, you get discounts and make this whole radio transmission possible. But that's a side issue to you getting empowered, and the sores went away. His memory came back. He was back. It was like a movie. It was like Planet of the Apes, the latest edition of it, uh, which is by an excellent movie, by the way, where they inject the guy with the serum vaccine, and it reverses the Alzheimer's. Well, this was just with minerals and vitamins, and the doctor tested his blood, said, you're vitamin K, what are you doing? Well, I'm taking, taking these uh, supplements. Well, you can't have that. They're telling you vitamins are bad now. And you know what? Again, I hate to promote stuff on the back of that, but Ted wants me to tell the story. Because the doctor said no, the doctor is God, that's the end of it. Can't promote longevity products to him. And I see these people, and I've studied uh, naval warfare. It, it was kind of a hobby to you know study the history of that a little bit in history books. Very entertaining. And scurvy was such a big problem. I know I talk about this a lot. But I, I go look at these old people with their teeth falling out, sores all over them. They're hardly eating. They're eating processed crud, and they're starving to death. And I'm so sick of watching this. So, yes, start your own garden. Yes, start getting raw eggs from a local farmer like I do. And, and again, you can start reversing it. My brain works better. I feel better. My children behave better. My wife 
has had amazing results. Uh, I know uh, women who've had their hair falling out, got on Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Polymers and other products, their hair came back. It is amazing because people are starving to death. So I do challenge you to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and get Beyond uh, Tangy Tangerine, get the Pollen Burst, uh, get the Alex uh, Pack uh, that's got uh, all the uh, other great products in it. It's all available. And get on this journey with us. But I'm done plugging that. i got to let all the other callers go. I apologize because they were on other subjects. I want to open the phones up right now for our guest, Dr. Joel Wallach, so people can call in with their specific questions. 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231, and the jam-packed hour coming up on the economy, the police state, and your phone calls as well in the next hour. But Dr. Wallach, going through things, I, I wanted to ask you about this. I was in a CVS um, a few days ago getting some batteries by my house, and I watched as children came up and were all getting gum. And every gum in there, they had like 30 or 40 right there at the front counter, had aspartame. And I know that aspartame breaks into wood alcohol. I know it's also addictive, as many poisonings are. Uh, I understand that people get to where they absolutely you know, need it. That's why they put it in there, so it's addictive. It is the feces of a genetically engineered E. coli bacteria in bioweapons development in the 60s. They got it approved, obviously, in 1981. And I start telling people, hey, ma'am, I notice you're buying your son that. I don't mean to get in your business, but that has what alcohol in it. That's what aspartame is. And they start laughing at me, and I go, it's feces of a bacteria. And my son goes, yes, it's in the manufacturing process. And the woman gets mad at me and runs out of the building. But I don't care. If I see children buying it, I must tell them it's rat poison. And the people behind the counter know who I am, so they're laughing. But it's not funny. Uh, I've seen major studies admitting that degeneration, macular, uh, macular degeneration, all these other problems are directly connected to aspartame being in tens of thousands of products now. It's in sugar candy, it's in processed foods, it's everywhere. They're assaulting us with it. An example of that, what is aspartame doing there and what can be done with nutritional things to reverse things in the eyes or at least stop the damage. I know sometimes you're too far down the rat hole. I mean, my point is this. This is what I'm getting at. We all know beta carotene increases night vision and things like that. Uh, we all know that Well, my family, my children now beg for the essential fatty acids. They don't even like the candy flavored vitamins that we used to give them. Now, at first they didn't like Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Now that their body knows what it is, they beg for it. They beg for their big horse pill uh, essential fatty acids with your picture on it. They were all eating them this morning. Their brain has figured out and they said, it makes us feel really good. Uh, so, so again, what's going on with the eyes? Because I know that's epidemic, eyes degenerating. What's happening there? Well, again, you're, you're very perceptive, Alex. Um, macular degeneration is the most common cause of blindness in adults. And it's very seductive because, as you point out, aspartame, other sugar alcohols, um, um, mannitose, and that, that kind of stuff, um, these things actually make the body think that you're getting what you need. And when, when we're minerally deficient, we have cravings. We call them the munchies. Your body's looking for something. And to me, the thing that aspartame and other alcohol sugars or sugar alcohols and these artificial sweeteners they make the body think you're getting what it's looking for and you keep going down that rat hole you were talking about and uh, uh, we can actually reverse i can take people who have been legally blind rendered legally blind by macular degeneration for eight ten twelve years and in ninety days get them to read twenty twenty without glasses i don't care if they're eighty five years old we do this all the time and it's become quite the thing. We actually have eye doctors now send us people because we can do these things. Uh, what we do is we actually give the nutrients, as you point out, the, the 90 for life, the um, Alex pack is really is great that you adopted this program, the Alex but pack. But Doc, you know, what's Alex happening pack. in the eye with the sugar alcohols? What are they doing specifically? Because I want to speak to that. I, I mean, how can people, 
as uh, pharmacist Ben Fuchs said, stopped or in some cases reversed it. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you're born blind or you know, other genetic things. But, but I mean, what's happening in macular degeneration? We know the eye needs beta carotene. What else does it need? Why are we seeing the epidemic of eye problems? Well, your eye needs all 90 essential nutrients, just like your liver and your heart and your kidneys and your brain and your skin and your bones, your cartilage. Every tissue in your body needs all 90 essential nutrients, and so do your eyes. The retina of your eye to function properly, um, take pictures and, and transmit them to the brain and turn it into something you can visualize. Now, what happens is when you get oxidative damage uh, to the retina of the eye, it's actually, uh, the easiest way I think to explain it is liver spots. You've all seen liver spots on the older person's back of their hands and their face, age spots. The same thing is happening to the retina of your eye, and light can't get through there. And again, beta carotene is a great antioxidant. Uh, you know, obviously one of the oldest ones is one of the first uh, fat-soluble vitamins that were recognized. And it's one of the greatest antioxidants. It, it prevents oxidative damage. And, of course, when you get things like um, aspartame, it is used to um, make things that are um, um, oxidative, in other words, cause free radical damage, taste good. So it's kind of a, a screen for things that are bad for you that makes it taste good. So you're willing to take in things that actually cause the oxidative damage, cause liver spots and age spots in your retina. And the bad taste of the bad things is masked by the sweet flavor of so the So that's what it is. It's literally crud building up in the eye, basically, to put it in a layman's terms. And, you know, oh, okay, this is amazing. I love the sun. I mean, I love to go out and go fishing or go hiking with my shirt off. But until I started really using longevity intensely about six months ago, it was back in November, so however long ago that was, I guess about seven months ago now, I would get big brown spots all over my face, freckles. Obviously, my body's trying to defend me from the sun. I've noticed now I'm getting even more sun, but because I've been taking longevity, I have about half the freckles I did before. Uh, I used to go out in the sun the next day, bigger freckles, brown spots all over my face. My wife's like, you know, you look like a cheetah. Uh, what's happening there? Because I've heard pharmacists Ben Fuchs talk about the fact that when you're not getting the vitamins and minerals you need, you sunburn worse and you have problems. What's happening there? Well, exactly, uh, um, Alex. These are reversible. You take in the antioxidants like beta carotene. You take in and, and the Beyond Tain Tangerine, the powder has 115 super juices in it. You know, everybody knows about noni and mangosteen and these types of things and acai berry. Well, this has 115, not three, not 10, but 115 of the, these super juices in this one product. And these are part of the secret of these top 20 longevity cultures. This is where all these super juices came from, from these peoples and, and, we're scientists and anthropologists to say, well, this is part of their longevity secret, which is quite true, but only one part of the recipe. And so we installed 115 of these super juices in this one product, along with 130 vitamins and minerals and amino acids and fatty acids um, in the Alex pack. And this is why we're able to shrink and, and eliminate age spots and liver spots. When you have 10 of them on your skin, you have a million of them in your brain. Um, and, of course, doctors love it when you have Alzheimer's disease because they bought up all the um, rehab centers. They bought up all the uh, hospices. And so we... Well, that we takes me back to the... What, what is it where I see old people everywhere, even folks that are like 65, 70, with rot holes in their skin, and their skin gets paper thin. I mean, from the descriptions I've read, that's like scurvy, isn't it? Well, exactly right. Scurvy uh, um, attacks the connective tissue, including your skin, your gums. And the doctors uh, won't teach nutrition now, so they won't tell you you've got scurvy. Well, they don't even know it. They're so ignorant. They don't even know it, Alex. I wouldn't even give them credit to know that they, they're they withholding it. They're just so ignorant. They don't even know it. In fact, Alzheimer's disease is a physician-caused disease. It didn't exist 40 years ago. It's a physician-caused disease uh, because they've given us these statin drugs to lower cholesterol, and your brain is 75% by weight cholesterol. So you go on a cholesterol-restricted diet. Uh, they made egg beaters for baby boomers. You eat egg beaters, you take cholesterol-lowering drugs, you're going to get you're going to get uh, Alzheimer's disease like um, what's her name Pat Summit you know the winningest basketball coach ever she had to have a good brain for that and they gave her Alzheimer's disease by giving her statin drugs. Well, my dad is a dentist, but he took biology in college and things. And ten years ago, he was showing me studies that they knew statins were literally disintegrating people's brains. 
he got my grandmother to go off of him. I'm a mom's mom, and she 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 was never she was always real sharp, but she certainly it it. it I could tell the difference when she got off of it. She had more energy. But now the new literature admits it's destroying people's brains. Uh, it's, it's just incredible. Exactly. The FDA came out just a couple of weeks ago and said that uh, statin drugs, it's a new warning, it says statin drugs actually increases your risk of Alzheimer's disease and increases your risk of type 2 diabetes by 50%. And there was not a single doctor in America, Alex, not one single doctor in America except me that sent out an email to everybody that said, get off of statin drugs. Every other doctor just sort of hunkered down and hoped their patients didn't see it or hear it. Yeah, well, also Dr. Russell Blaylock is, was, is a retired top brain surgeon. He just says it's criminal. He says statins are criminal. Well, I agree with him 100%. And I can't thank you enough for getting this out to the American people because it's going to take individuals like yourself and your crew on InfoWarsTeam.com uh, to save America. We need saving here, and so uh, I'm glad to be part of your army. Absolutely, and, and you know, it's a win-win-win because we can get you on to break down just all these facts, and at the same time, we can also then support this independent news organization when people support us at InfoWarsTeam.com. Uh, let's go ahead and take some calls here. Who's been holding the longest? Bill in Ohio, you're on the air with Dr. Joel Wallach. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Appreciate it. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Uh, just wanted to ask, my wife is pregnant, and uh, we're on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and, and the uh, Central Fatty Acids, but I'm wondering if there's anything else we should be doing. Okay, good question. Now, how far along is she? Uh, about four months. Well, congratulations. Yeah, if she plans on breastfeeding the baby, I would add the Osteo FX Plus, and so that's where the Alex pack would come in because it has the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Osteo FX Plus, and the EFA Pluses, which are the Omega-3s. And the Alex pack is, is the most economical, best functional way to do it. Uh, it uh, deals with 100 pounds of human flesh. One pack is good for 100 pounds of human flesh. So if you use it for a 50-pound kid, that's a two-month supply. If you give it to a 200-pound person, um, regardless of gender, uh, that's a two-week supply. So it goes by body weight, just like that's another question I have. What is this? I'm seeing record numbers of women miscarrying, and then I was reading that the uh, the uh, pharmacies. Uh, what do you call the pharmacies, doctor? Where they take the old-fashioned uh, things and actually prepare it there and a compounding pharmacies. Yes, yes, a compounding pharmacy, and of course these are run by medical doctors. And I was reading how they have this hormone they give women naturally, where it's stopping women having the miscarriage, and it's working. But the feds are coming in and trying to stop them from doing it. I mean, what's happening there? Well, when women have miscarriages, almost always, I'd say about 99% of the time, they're malnourished. They don't have enough vitamins and minerals. They have enough calories. They have enough protein, maybe. But they don't have enough vitamins and minerals. And there's another little piece in there. I don't know um, how many people know this out there, but Mayo Clinic came out with a report in 2009 that said 30% of Americans are gluten intolerant. And when you're gluten intolerant, Alex, your intestines look like you've been eating uh, poison ivy for salads. It is ugly, and you cannot absorb nutrients, even if you're supplementing with them. And this is what's causing all the miscarriages, because people are told to eat more whole grains, and human beings were never really meant to eat whole grains. That's why we're the number one obese nation in the world. And then That's isn't that also linked, the, uh, the gut being inflamed, to the increase in uh, colon cancer? You got it. Uh, the, exactly. Again, you're very perceptive. The, the processed meats with nitrates, nitrites, the fried foods, the oils, and then you throw in the mix the gluten from the gluten intolerance, from wheat, barley, rye, or oats. I mean, you don't have to give up beer because you've got the, uh, these um, gluten-free beers by Anheuser-Busch. You know, you got the rice beers from the Orientals. I, you know, my wife is Chinese, so I, if I drink beer, it's the rice beer. And uh, I'm telling you, if we stay away from all these these whole grains, it's the wheat. And you know about the GMO stuff. You throw in the GMO factor to whole grains, you are in big trouble. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Caller. We're going to go to break and come back and talk to uh, Teeny, uh, Scott, Marilyn, Vanessa, and Chris in this next segment, the next short segment. Then I'm going to get into... Pistoli, uh, Mr. Pistol, TSA, gropers being trained to specifically target your crotch. You can't make that up. Uh, also, we're going to get into Obama going after the churches, saying they've got to pay for abortions, birth control, and hire people that aren't Christians. 
feds have no jurisdiction in churches, folks. Read the First Amendment. We're going to get into a bunch of news coming up after uh, the doc leaves us. Infowarsteam.com. I want to thank all of you for your support as well. Let's talk to Teeny in Indiana. You're on the air with Dr. Joel Wallach. Hi. Um, I just have a story to tell you. At the beginning of the month, my husband was diagnosed with a glioblastoma tumor in his brain, about the size of a baseball. He was in the hospital for about a week, and he was home, and they wanted to do seed treatment on him, but he refused to do that, any of their treatments. So we got on your site, Alex, and we ordered the brain and heart um, pack and that came yesterday, and we started taking that. Then we also got a hold of Dr. Glidden, and he ordered us a bunch of other stuff to go along with that. So my husband's been taking it since about 4 o'clock last night, and then again around 11 o'clock last night, and then again this morning, and then again this afternoon, and he's already got more energy. Well, who knows what's going to happen with a tumor that size, but we'll definitely pray for him. All I know is is that the brain is made up, the solid part, mainly about a cholesterol. And they know full well that these statin drugs are destroying people. Uh, but my goodness, um, wow, a, a, a tumor the size of a baseball. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Chris in Mass. You're on the air with Dr. Wallet. Go ahead. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. Go ahead. It, it breaks my heart to hear that last caller. I, my my father-in-law just just died a few months ago of uh, the glioblastoma. So I, my prayers definitely go out to that last caller. Those, by the way, a lot of brain tumors are up because of the cell phones. It's just they're. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I know, I know. So um, I, have a, I have a comment real quick and a question for Dr. Wallach. My um, my comment is, they started uh, using the Alex pack about two months ago, and I'm a. I'm a singer-songwriter who's constantly gigging um, all the time, and I'm also a hockey coach, so I'm, you know, always staying in good shape, but I could never get below 200 pounds. Um, and I started taking the Alex pack, and I, I swear to God, in, in two months, I've lost 25 pounds. And, and see, it's never even been advertised as weight loss, but, 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 but that's what we've discovered, and that's what happened with Aaron, is that you're starving, and now it can be midnight, I'm working, I'm really hungry, and I go, bam, tangy tangerine, or and boom. I mean, I, I go to bed, I feel great because my body got what it needed. Dr. Wallach. You're exactly right. Uh, when you have cravings, when you're hungry, your body's really looking for nutrients, not more calories. So when you use the Alex pack, when you use the tangy tangerine instead of a soft drink, instead of a cookie, you will lose weight and you'll be healthier. It's amazing. Um, wow, so you've lost 20-plus pounds in a couple months. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm outperforming all the time. I performed at uh, Liberty Love Fest uh, Ron Paul event uh, just a couple months ago, and I'm, I'm always active. I'm always working out. I could never get below 200 pounds as soon as I... Um, hey, that's cool. Tell out. folks tell folks uh, about your music or what you're doing. Tell folks about your website. Sure. Uh, it's chrisrossmusic.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. My Twitter is Chris Ross Music. I, I actually perform with Jordan Page and, and a few other artists. Well, that's so exciting because, that. listen, listen, I knew Longevity was good, folks, and I started getting into it over a year ago, but I was barely promoting it because I'm like, yeah, it's good. You need the minerals. Yeah, okay, here it is. And I told everybody else no with, with nutritional stuff, and I'm like, yeah, okay, this looks good. I'll promote this. But when I saw Aaron and then my wife and then my mother and all this stuff, I finally did it. And boom, had a big effect. But i got to be honest, Dr. Wallach, I've lost 40-plus pounds, but now it's stopped. And, of course, that's nothing to complain about. And I'm not working out as much because I'm working you know, too much. So I guess I've just got to work out as much as I was. I was working out the same amount and not losing weight. Then I started doing tangy tangerine and all this, lost a bunch of weight. But now I've kind of cut back. I guess I've answered my own question. I need to go back to working out, or how do I lose more weight? Okay, well, there's two ways. Number one, you could uh, take more minerals. Just add a bottle of plain minerals or cherry mints to your regimen. Take two ounces of that a day, be two quarters a month. Or we have what we call ASAP, as slim as possible. So actually you can put uh, a dropper full under your tongue 30 minutes before That'll each meal. That'll accelerate it. Stay there. Tell me more about that. Dr. Wallace with us for five more minutes, and then I'm going to come back in News Blitz and take your phone calls. Let's go ahead and talk to Vanessa in Oregon. You're on the air with Dr. Wallach. Go ahead. Hello. Um, I've had, since I was 14 years old, digestive problems. Like, at 14, I stopped being able to eat dairy, 
some uh, fruits, vegetables. Basically, I could only eat bread and rice, and I still to this day, I can't eat a full meal. And it's horrible, and I was wondering if you had any ideas about that. Do you have any skin problems like eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis? Um, I, I just started getting psoriasis a bit. Yep. Do you have any history of chronic bronchitis or asthma as a kid? No. Uh, did you have constipation or diarrhea? <laughs> Sometimes. Of course. It goes along with the psoriasis thing. Yeah, you have a oh. gluten intolerance. What I'd have you do, if you're going to eat bread, it's got to be gluten-free bread. Um, you cannot have wheat, barley, rye, or oats in any form. No oatmeal for breakfast, no cereals, uh, and none of that kind of stuff. No wheat, barley, rye, or oats. Uh, you can have rice. Uh, you can have uh, baked sweet potatoes with butter. You can have squash with butter. You can have all the vegetables. Uh, make sure no processed meats, because not only do they have nitrates in them, but they also have wheat in them as filler. No wheat, barley, or oats. You take the Alex pack appropriate for body weight, one Alex pack per month for 100 pounds of body weight. You will be a new woman. The psoriasis goes away. Guess what? No more diarrhea, no more constipation. You will be a new woman. And Alex, I had one question for you. Um, I'm a hardcore info warrior, always doing my research every single day. And I just started the blog, and I was wondering if I could invite females especially, because I don't know a lot of female info warriors that are way into it, to contribute. And, and guys as well, if you have any sort of writings or art or anything you'd like to contribute, I would love that. We are going to tomorrow launch officially the big social network where you can link and post your artwork, your articles, everything. And we absolutely want to get women more involved in the info war. And... I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm getting some reporters together to start doing daily shows that'll kind of host like a Washington Journal show, where people can call in and just call after call after call and just go over news that way. Like earlier, I had a bunch of great callers holding, and I had to let them go so you guys could get on with medical questions. That way, I've got a bunch of shows I want to launch. I've got a bunch of reporters we're trying to hire. We've just gotten to that final level of growth where we're about to be able to hire more people and do it all, but it's also a money issue. And so what I do is I promote products that I believe in that help people that also finance our operation. I believe in win-win. That's why I sleep so good at night. That's why I promote longevity via InfoWarsTeam.com. Uh, so, yes, we are wanting to empower women. God bless you. Uh, let's talk to uh, Marilyn in Texas. Go ahead. You're on the air with Dr. Wallach. Thank you so much. Dr. Wallach. I'm calling about my husband who's had chronic diarrhea for about three months, going on four. He has abdominal pain after he eats. He has headaches at the back of his head and vertigo. And we've gone through blood tests, even an ultrasound of his abdomen, and everything is normal. That he's getting weaker. He's lost more than 11 pounds. Okay, that's very good because you've eliminated cancer and other evil things, right? So what that tells you know. is, well, yeah, if they've done all these tests, believe me, if there's anything that remotely looks like cancer, doctors are going to glom onto it. So what I would do is get him on a gluten-free diet. If you go back to when he was a kid, ask him if he has his appendix out. Do you know? No, he hasn't. Did he have his gallbladder out? No, he's got one. <laughs> uh, did, he have as did he have asthma? No. Okay. Uh, I would get him on a gluten-free diet. No wheat, barley, or oats. Uh, that means oatmeal for breakfast, uh, things like processed meats that are, that are fillered with... Um, uh, yeah, he's got to go on a total health food diet, and he's got to... Uh, I mean, as Dr. Wallach was just saying, he's got to not eat GMO, too. A lot of this is GMO. This is what it does to the rats and things. Dr. Wallach, incredible job. Look forward to having you back up soon. InfoWarsTeam.com if people want to find out more. And they also have a number you can call if you have any questions there on the site. We'll be back with a news blitz and more of your phone calls. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?